out vent here in Scottsboro, Alabama. I'm going to take the uh, uh, video on the hood of the car. There's a rain event. Uh, the rain is coming from the west, northwest. And it is a uh, light to moderate rain. It's been steady. It started this morning at about uh, oh, about 3 a.m. Steady rain. Okay, this is a wipe from our vehicle. As you can see, it immediately uh, shoots up pretty high. Once again, the time is 9-12. This is the initial test. Previous white shot up to about 350. This was over 350 at this time. This is the initial count. Okay, now we're gonna uh, uh, differentiate by the placement of plastic, paper, and foil to determine if this is alpha or beta radiation. One sheet of paper. 318 now, 324. Uh, Obviously, the paper has not significantly reduced the radiation. Now we're going to try plastic. And here's our plastic disc. Place this over the top. As you can see, our counter has, uh, uh, our inspector has uh, reduced its count. So now we see if the plastic disc is going to reduce our count and by how much. plastic disc has reduced the count by approximately 50%. As I was saying, we've removed the plastic disc. We show the count again without any covering. And as you can see, it rapidly goes back up over 300 counts per minute. Uh, my hypothesis on this, we have a uh, more than just alpha radiation, which is radon. Uh, there's appearances of better radiation. Okay, we're gonna try one sheet of foil. Our counter has gone back down. This is one sheet of foil over the sample. last rain out event we had we did not uh, uh, test by uh, using foil paper and plastic to block out radionuclides alpha beta radiation being emitted from our source 
uh, it does appear there is a reduction with one sheet of foil. The reduction appears is approximately 20% reduction with one sheet of foil. Now we're going to try two sheets of foil. This is two sheets of foil over our sample. As you're seeing, it appears there's approximately uh, one third reduction in the amount of radiation uh, that is getting through to the sensor in our uh, detector. Now we're going to move to four sheets of foil. foil. Also, want to show you that the foil is not contaminated. From the source that I am reading this, the foil is not contaminated. Our inspector is, is reducing count back just about to the background level. Our four sheets of foil is over the sample. This is uh, very definitive evidence that the radiation that's being emitted is beta radiation, not alpha. This is not a radon rain out. Next, I'm going to show you, uh, we're going to place a steel cookie sheet over the sample. The uh, cookie sheet is approximately uh, 1 16th to 1 8th inch diameter, uh, thickness. Four sheets of foil is bringing our sample down to uh, radiation count. We have approximately uh, 40 to 50 percent decrease. Uh, at this level, it looks like it's about 50 percent decrease. Uh, we're going to see what the rate of decay is here. We're uh, approximately 10 minutes into this sampling. We have removed the foil. Now we're going to take our count again. At 10 minutes, uh, Last significant rain out event was on November the 12th, Veterans Day, and uh, I posted the video on YouTube of that event, and of course, <coughs> the, uh, uh, the sample uh, was significantly high, it showed over 1,500 counts per minute, but rapidly reduced, and it was also better radiation mixed with alpha radiation. And as you can see, uh, approximately about 15 minutes now past the uh, original count. When we, uh, excuse me, uh, taking the sample. About 15 minutes past that. And we do have a slight reduction. So the radionuclide is dissipating with time. This is a fast dissipating radionuclide. Okay, now we're gonna demonstrate the count on this steel cookie sheet, which is like I say, uh, is, is very thin. Uh, we're back to background level. Okay, the cookie sheet is over the sample. There's the sample. Right there. I'm going to lay it on top. I have a marked area on the about cookie a, sheet. Uh, an 80% reduction in the radiation. 
but even at that there is still just twice the count of background level. Now it's going up to 80 now. We're going to let this continue just for a moment. Okay, now we're going to take our counter, place it back on the uh, on our sample. As you can see, this sample is shooting right back up. Here's a sample we collected at 8.15 Central Standard Time. As you time. can see, our detector has dropped back down. There's the sample. on our wipe. The inspector is on the wipe. This is one hour, 15 minutes from the initial sample that I took. And as you can see, at one hour, we have more 50% reduction, very rapidly dissipating radionuclide. And uh, at this point, uh, one hour plus, one hour and 15 minutes plus initial sampling, uh, we're greater than uh, uh, about 75, 70, 75% reduction in the uh, original sample level of the radionuclide. Now we're going to bag this sample in a bag we previously repair, uh, prepared. This is a sample where we're getting an elevated count a while ago. This is the sample that where it was collected. I just one to show you where we're at. With our current sample. Place it back over our our uh, most recent wipe. And as you can see, it immediately shoots right on up there. found out in the on the high very high 1500 counts per minute sample we took on Veterans Day the uh, uh, within one day 24 hours uh, the sample had completely dissipated as a matter of fact within uh, within three hours there was about a 90% reduction and within six hours our wipe sample had dissipated down to uh, uh, basically 95 to 98 percent radiation uh, precipitated from our sample. 25 minutes very post, rapid uh, sample of this current white and uh, it is decreased approximately one-third. Okay here we are we're going to take a look at white number two which is bagged we're now uh, four hours past the uh, initial time of the, of the wipe, which was 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, this is a plastic bag, one layer. It's a rapidly subsiding or dissipating uh, radionuclide that is uh, reflected out of the rainfalls that, that we've been having. See, four hours later, we have uh, a very low level in the, in the bagged uh, sample. 
a little bit uh, higher than background, but uh, the background is 36 counts per minute. 